Hey guys, thanks for joining me, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello peoples, welcome to Sharp Ends. Today I'm going to talk about a subject that is close to my heart, and that is short fixed blades, everyday carry type things that you can carry easily around. Some of these disappear in the pocket, and you can actually carry around uh, without looking like a freak. Uh, some of them uh, I carry anyway, but regardless, all of these are uh, three inches or less. There's two on here which are three and a half inches, but they feel shorter, so I've included them too. And all of these are either made by Bark River or LT Wright. Um, I am well aware that I need to see things from White River and from Seven Forge and a couple of other people that make some pretty nice uh, small carries. Actually, that's not true. There's a uh, Creeley Mako here. Uh, so one knife from Creeley, but otherwise Bark River and LT Wright. Why carry a small fixed blade? Uh, I find that it's very nice to have something like this when you're doing yard work or when you're uh, obviously camping um, or out in the wilderness at all or hunting or fishing, anything like that. There's a reason to have one of these. And I also do a lot of work sometimes in the shop in carpentry and I prefer to have a little fixed blade with me to do those kind of cuts uh, that you might need even sharpening a pencil I'd rather do it with a with a fixed blade than I would with a pocket knife so I'm a big fan of having these I think they're great 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 tools and so I'm going to go through some of these um, so the iron river here is a great little knife it's just a tad too small for me but the blade shape is great. This is a convex grind, um, and it's very sharp, and it works really well. I got really fancy scales on this, so I tend not to carry this with me too much, and I got the mosaic pins. I use it mainly as a kitchen knife, but I know for a fact that if I'd gotten something that was a little bit more practical, like micarta or something like that, that this would be an absolute favorite for me. Even though it's just a little bit short, my pinky finger rests right there when I clench down on it, um, it's still a four finger grip for me. My hand, my hand doesn't fit right there, but it feels really good in the hand and the ergos are great. The fit and finish are obviously great. This is magna cut as well, which is a good stainless steel and would be perfect for things like fishing and camping. So I do recommend this knife, but if you do get it and you want it to be practical, I would say that the lesson I learned with this knife is that it's a work of art and I don't want to use it. Um, so what I would suggest is, uh, get something that's more practical, uh, for the handle and scale materials, but this green and yellow maple burl is just off the hook, right? I mean, this is a beautiful knife. Um, next, this taupe, this, uh, water moccasin is actually three and a half inches long. It's got orange maple, um, Osage orange handles on it, and it does have mosaic pins, but it's a full grip, and it feels smaller than it is, and again, this was absolutely a great knife for processing small game, and it just works really well, fits really well in the hand. Um, this is Magna Cut. This is a first production run, but they've already done a second production run, and it was such a big hit. I'm sure they're going to do another one, but it's just very functional knife. Uh, convex grind again. I would suggest getting one of these. Again, I've usually just keep this in the kitchen. I don't really carry it around with me. So those are the two less practical knives that I have that mainly stay in the kitchen for processing stuff. The rest of these knives are a little bit more uh, high endurance, if you will. So the Creeley Mako comes with this phenomenal sheath with a built-in ulti clip here. I carry this thing all the time. It is a high saber grind, which is a very practical, good grind for a knife like this. And it stays sharp forever. This happens to be Magna Cut, but he makes it in Rex, and he makes it in a bunch of other really cool high-end materials. He's a maker in Pennsylvania, where actually very close to where I live. Um, and it's just a great knife. And even though the handle looks kind of odd, it actually fits really well. Uh, you can go online and put in a pre-order, and he'll ship it out to you. It does take a little while because... If he's not a single man shop, he's got hardly anyone in the shop, so he does everything himself. But Heat Treat is always phenomenal on his knives. Well worth checking out Creeley Mako. This has been one of my daily carries forever. Uh, it doesn't have a sharpening choil, uh, which I kind of wish it did. I have sharpened it several times, and right now it's screaming sharp. Very easy to keep sharp, too, with a little bit of stropping. And like I said, this sheath just disappears. And it's an in-pocket sheath as well. I guess I should have led with that. It's an in-pocket carry sheath. So very, you know, small and fits in the pocket nicely. That is a great knife. 
Um, next, my other, one of my other favorite guys is this DLT exclusive one, Daily Carry. This is LT, right? But they, you know, they, they, they make them not just from DLT. Uh, nice orange liners here, brass pins. This is AEBL, which is a phenomenal steel. And I got this, uh, uh, Artemis Carry makes these sheaths, and you send it off to them, and it snaps in, comes out super smooth and easy. This is the the, the addition of this and making it in pocket carry as well makes this knife so easy and fun to carry, and again very practical. And this is a high saber grind as well, so it's going to be good for processing things, cutting things, just all around. Just a great knife. The AEBL stay sharp forever is stainless. And it's just a great, great steel. Absolutely love it. Another knife that I find myself carrying a lot is actually this mini Canadian from Bark River. This is a convex grind. Really small, right? And my pinky doesn't fit on it, so I put this little lanyard here for my hand. But this thing, I just put the whole... I don't put it on my, on my, on my belt. I just carry the whole thing uh, in my pocket. And then when I pull it out, I got a little fixed blade that I can do stuff with. And I carry this a lot, especially in the shop and stuff like that. I just love this mini Canadian. This is 3V, so it's, it's you know, it's a it's a high-end stainless steel. Um, I wouldn't call it high-end, but it's a stainless steel, and it's good, and it stays sharp for a long time. Relatively tough. Just great. I got these little black liners. I kind of wish I had chosen a different color combination for that, but, you know... That's what I got. I love. I do love the orange. I just wish that instead of getting a black, maybe I'd gotten red or something else or yellow. Um, the let's go with this guy here. So this is the um, field tracker, and it's got this really cool traditional shape to it. I got a mountain grind on it, and I do like the mountain grind. I didn't know if I would like it, and so I kind of got the mountain grind to test it out again. I wish I picked more bright uh, liners instead of this. OG green, but it's still pretty good. And this is a two, which is a great knife steel, easy to sharpen in the field, keep sharp forever. And it really is good for poking into things and carrying around. I use this a lot uh, when I was working on a construction site this last uh, year. And it just, this little sheath that it comes with is great, easy. And I've actually been wearing it on the belt, but you can stick it in a cargo pocket or a pocket as well. But I, I do like this knife. And again, I added just a little bit of a lanyard because my pinky finger comes off of this. But it's very practical. Great knife shape. This is a high saber grind. Um, yeah, so very cool little knife. And then the Bush Baby. <laughs> I'll also carry this. This actually comes with a dangly. Uh, look at these sheaths, by the way. LT Wright sheaths are so much better. So far superior than the Bark River sheaths. Um so this guy, the, both of these guys were under 100 bucks. by the way. They were $95. This is a high carbon steel, and it's treated really well. And they put patina on it for me beforehand to keep it a little bit more waterproof. Very easy to sharpen. Uh, this is a full four-finger grip. And it's like it's great for feather sticking. It's great for uh, cutting up wood, shaving things. It's got a sharp spine, which you can use to you know rub against a skin of potato or uh, you know use to make some flint, some tinder. Or to strike a knife steel, obviously. Just a great all-around little knife. And I like it a lot. And feels really good in the hand. Um, and then finally, the Taskmaster. Which I've gotten more recently than these other guys. This is uh, Jason Stones. I, excuse me if I'm mispronouncing your name, sir. Um, Taskmaster, designed by him in Bark River Knives. And this is a 3.5-inch knife. So it's, it's bigger, but it feels small. And it's just like what it says, it's Taskmaster. It's a full convex grind all the way up, I think. Um, and it's got this little fuller here. And it's just great. Feels awesome in the hand. And like I said, it's just it, it, you, it just screams practicality. This knife is so practical and so easy to use and so freaking sharp behind the edge. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I can't get over how nice this is. The only problem with it is, of course, it came with a Bark River sheaf. So I am thinking that I might get send this off to Artemis to get me a, a nice more in-pocket carry sheath uh, out of Kyvex, but I don't know if I'll pull the trigger on that or not. Don't really like this sheath. Uh, I wish that there was a better sheath than this, but having said that, I do tend to carry it. So, you know, um, when you're talking about the different price ranges here, anything that has these custom scales is going to be more expensive. I find LT Wright to be less expensive than Bark River. And then this Creeley, he's more of a, uh, of a, 
he's more of a small maker, so his prices are just a little bit higher, but it's all American made. In fact, I should point out that every single knife on this table is American made, which is absolutely awesome that you can get such high quality. I mean, none of the, you, you wouldn't be sad with any of these knives, I don't think. Um, so, uh, I think that they're, they're just wonderful tools to have on you at all times. And, uh, sometimes I prefer to have a high saber grind or a saber grind. Sometimes I prefer to have convex, especially if I'm going to be processing food, but all of these around the yard, around the shop, around the campsite, all of these are good, and any one of them would be fine in that situation if you were only carrying one. But some of them I lean towards more than others for different tasks. So that's my take on small uh, pocket, small fixed blades. I would love for you to tell me what I should be carrying or trying out. I'm going to check out White River 7 Forge. Uh, what else should I be checking out in this in this range, right? Sub three and a half, sub three. Um, because I really like this style and I really like carrying these little guys around me, uh, on me. So yeah. Um, and let me know what you think about sheaths too. Uh, where, what, what kind of sheaths you like, what kind of sheaths you don't like, uh, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm always very curious because that for a small knife makes it either practical or impractical to carry. Um, so I'm always curious to see what people are carrying around. I, I do like danglies, but usually for bigger knives, but it actually works out pretty well for this bush baby. Uh, I do like how this little dangly does work on me. Um, but you know, like I said, the general Bark River thing, I don't necessarily like, I do like the mini Canadian one, but it's so small and directional and stuff like that, that it, this doesn't bother me. It's almost like a pocket sheath, right? Um, and I, and like I said, the Artemis Kyvex one, absolutely phenomenal, right? This is like, this is what you want. That little thumb scout there where you push in, push out really easily. Yeah, very cool. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. If you like this content, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you didn't like it, please tell an enemy. But please, if whatever you do, tell someone. You can also find me on Instagram. And if you want to support this channel and this kind of content, all you have to do is click the link down below for my Patreon channel. And for $3 a month, you can be entered to win a knife of the month. Thanks so much, guys. And I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.